क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इन चैप्टर फाइव पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व रिया एंड गौरी आर द पार्टनर शेयरिंग द पी एन एल रेशियो वन एज टू टू एडमिटेड सैंजू एज ए न्यू पार्टनर विद अ वन फिफ्थ शेयर ऑन वन फोर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन संजू इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग नाइन्टी थाउजेंड एज ए कैपिटल इन कैश एंड आफ्टर द एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ रिजर्व प्रॉफिट ऑफ रिवैल्यूएशन एंड गुडविल द कैपिटल ऑफ रिया एंड गौरी इज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड टू लैख रिस्पेक्टिवली पार्टनर्स डिसाइडेड टू मेंटेन न्यू फॉर्म टोटल कैपिटल एट फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इन देर न्यू पी एन एल शेयरिंग रेशियो सो नेसेसरी अमाउंट इज टू बी बॉट एंड विदड्रॉ इन कैश प्रिपेयर पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट नाव हियर दिज आर द टू पार्टनर्स एंड हुज ओल्ड रेशियो इज गिवन एंड न्यू पार्टनर वन फिफ्थ शेयर इज गिवन आउट ऑफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन यू वी हैव टू रिमूव द न्यू रेशियो Here I already wrote all the information which is given in the question. I wrote the partner's name, old ratio, new partner with a one fifth share who is going to come with the ninety thousand capital. And after all the profit distribution, Ria and Gauri's capital is one lakh fifty thousand and two lakh. Now we are new new form total capital is given four lakh fifty thousand, which has to be distributed these three partners into their new ratio. So for this, here is the formula. Which we have already done in this chapter. Remaining share is equal to total profit minus part of new partner. The total profit we have to assume as one, and part of new partner is one fifth. If you remove LCM of it, you will get four upon five. For the new ratio, you have to take remaining share multiply by old ratio. Here I put up the information of remaining share which we found four upon five for both the partners. Don't keep for the new partner. For new partner, we'll keep only one fifth. the part of share what sanju is going to get as you can see the multiplication sign so directly we can multiply 4 to the 8 and 50 so now take the number which has to be take multiply by 15 so obviously 5 3 za the same number you have to put up it would be 4 is to 8 is to 3 Now the new capital distribution in new ratio that is four lakh fifty thousand which has to be distributed. So for this calculation, now we'll take the calculation. Here is the calculation is ready. The new capital distribution into the new ratio between all the partners. Now just get ready with the partners capital account in this question. Now for this. First, we'll write down the balance brought forward for Ria and Gauri, which has been given in the question, is one lakh fifty thousand and two lakh. The another information is given that Sanju is coming with the capital in cash of rupees ninety thousand, and just now we found that the new capital has to be distributed. That is closing balance between the three partners. That is four lakh fifty thousand into their new ratio. That is one lakh twenty thousand, two lakh forty thousand, and ninety thousand. Now out of this solution, now we have to make a total of it, and the difference of these two is going to be necessary amount is to be bought or withdraw in cash. so we'll make a total of both the side and wherever we found the difference that would be bought or withdraw by cash here is the total where ria is getting 150000 on the credit side and debit side we have 120000 so obviously this one is more to so just take the 150000 get minus with 120000 the difference of this is going to give the entry as a cash next that is cash withdrawal Next is the Gauri, where you can see the debit side it is two lakh forty thousand and credit side it is showing two lakh. So this one is more. So we'll keep at both the side and the difference of this two. There is two lakh forty thousand minus two lakh. You will get the difference of forty thousand. That is deposited by cash, as given information in the question. And the last one Sanju, which is getting tally. So the no withdrawal or no deposit for the partner Sanju. Question number sixteen. Parsvi and Aniri are the partners sharing P and L ratio two is to one, and the balance sheet is given over here. In this balance sheet, as you can see, the marking 
that I have written the opening balance in my ready specimen. Here the revaluation account, partner's capital account, the opening balance is given beforehand. And as I already read the, all the adjustment, I know only the one adjustment is going to be connected with the one entry at the liability side. And the remaining has to just to copy and paste in the directly in the balance sheet. In the first adjustment, it is given the new PNL sharing ratio that is 3, 4, 2. So here we have the old ratio and the new ratio. Out of this, which I removed the sacrifice of this, where I found the Parsvi is the only partner who is sacrificing and another partner is gaining with the 1 upon 9. Now, next adjustment, Hansi brings 40,000 as capital. The first, come to the capital account, write down cash account that Hansi is going to bring 40,000. Same entry have to be shown in the cash or the Hansi's capital that is 40,000. Next, interest on bank loan is outstanding for one year. As you can see, the bank loan is 35,000 and the interest has to be calculated by 10%. So 35,000 If you remove 10% of it of one year, that is 12 on 12, you will get 3,500, which is outstanding. So this is your outstanding expense. So just write down outstanding interest on bank loan on revaluation account with 3,500. And at the same side of the balance sheet, write down as an outstanding expense interest on bank loan. That is 3500. Next, personal expense of Parsvi paid by the firm is debited to the profit and loss account by 5600. Now, which have to be taken into the partner's capital account and revaluation account. So, first we'll take in the revaluation account, which is going to be Parsvi's capital account that is amount 5600 and another entry on the cross of the partner's capital account by writing revaluation in the parsvis column 5600 moving to the next adjustment after making a total of revaluation account the difference have been found 6300 on the credit side which is declared as a divisible loss has to be distributed into their old ratio pass on to the partner's capital account Revaluation 4200 and 2100. Now, after the making the total of the partner's capital account, here I found that the Parshvi's capital is credit side comparatively more compared to the debit side, which have to get minus. This one is more to first copy it out at this uh, debit side, get the minus with the total of the credit side, and you will get the difference of 47,000 that is have to be declared as a partner's current account which has been given the information in the question now this is the difference comes on from the debit side come to the balance sheet and on the liability side write down Parshvi's current account with the amount 47,000 as you can see the closing balance has been calculated beforehand so we can write down the capital account 180,000 which has to be distributed between the partners into their new ratio Next is Aneri. As you can see, the total of debit side is 99,100 and credit side it is 97,300. So this one is more. Write down at the both the side. Get minus with 97,300. You will get the difference of 1,800. For Aneri, the total is 60,000 on the debit side and credit side it is only 40,000. So first I'll record 60,000 over here. Get minus with 40,000. The difference of 20,000. This has to be passed to the partners as a partner's current account, but first we'll take it out in the balance sheet. We found it at the credit side and take them to the balance sheet asset side by writing the current account one for Aneri and one for Hansi. The amount 1,820,000. Here we take 20,800. Now, if when we make a total of this balance sheet, 
we get 320,800 at both the side. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>